Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on advanced Python. So in last few videos, we discussed like how uh, we can use super method uh, to initialize uh, 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 various classes in case of multiple inheritance. And in this video, we will learn like how actually it uses uh, C3 linearization to, uh, uh, to decide in which order the init method will be called of various uh, parent classes okay so um let us dive in and uh, see uh, how it is done so this is a symbolic expression or we can say formula so we have like uh, a class c which has parent classes b1 to bn so it is simply can be expanded as a recursive call where we can see like uh, it will be c plus merge of uh, uh, linearization b1 linearization b2 and so on and uh, at the end we add a, a list of uh, various parent classes and the second uh, important thing to note is like uh, linearization of an object uh, class is always an object and another concept we need to know is this tail and head so if we have a list uh, say b1 b2 bn so in that we will say b1 is head and b2 b3 and bn is tail okay so these three concepts are mainly useful to understand the actual linearization algorithm so let us dive in and uh, see like what steps it uses actually so in general main thing to understand is this merge uh, operation okay so the merge operation is simply if we have merge uh, list one list two list three list four and so on so it will simply like uh, we take the head of the first list let us say we have this is a list this will be a list after uh, evaluating this uh, lb1 and then if this head is not in the tail of any other list so we take the first element of this uh, list and check if any of the remaining lists uh, that particular head is not present if it is present we ignore it and we simply choose the next list uh, as a head okay and we continue until we find a good head okay if uh, we don't find a good head it will simply raise an exception and if we find a good head we take it out from the merge operation and add here and remove all the occurrences in the remaining uh, part okay in this uh, uh, list of uh, all the list of uh, uh, all the list of parent classes that are participating in this merge operation okay so if it is not clear we will see with example like how it works so that will be clear so let us create an example where we will try to understand like how it works okay so let us create a class d and let us say it extends object um, let us say class. Okay. Just create another class E. And let us say object and let us say pass. Okay. And also let us create another class F. Let us extend object and let us say pass. Okay. And let us create another class a b and c so let us say class c extends d and e okay and let us say pass okay and another class let us define class b and let us say simply d f let us say pass okay and let us say class we have class a and that extends b and c and let us say pass okay so now with this example we will try to uh, uh, see like what would be the uh, order for um mro for class a okay because we can see uh, a extends b and c but b is again extending d f and c is also extending d and e okay so let us dive in and see so so if we want to compute uh, the linearization of d 
So here you can see like L linearization of C and parent class. So we will follow that. So we can simply say L A. So let us start with the yeah, simple ones. Okay. So let us say L D. So it has parent O. So it can be written as a D plus. Okay. Merge. L O and O. Okay. So it's simply we are rewriting this uh, expression with this uh, this formula uh, for for d, okay? And that will be simply uh, d plus o, which is nothing but d o. Okay. Similarly, we can say l e o is equal to e o. And similarly, we can say for f as well, we get f only. Okay, so these are the simplest one. Now let us try to uh, calculate uh, L B and B has parent D and F. So what we will write is simply B plus merge of L D L F and D F okay and which can be simply written as we know that L D is equal to D O and L F is equal to F O we can simply write B plus merge so D O F O and D F. Now let us uh, choose first head. Okay, so which is D, and we don't see like it is in any tail. So tail of this will be O. F uh, tail of this list will be O, and tail of this list would be would be uh, F. Okay, and we don't have uh, D in any tail, so D is a good head. So we can simply say B plus D. The next and the next is we simply remove all the occurrences of D uh, in all the lists. So we uh, will be having O and F O and F. Okay. And now we will again choose from the left, like we will choose O. O is a tail of the second list, so we will ignore this and then we will choose F. F is not a tail of anyone, so it is a good head. So we can simply say B plus D plus F and simply we remove F from all the lists. Okay. Now we have just O, so we will come up with simply like uh, O. Okay. So the order we got is B, D, F, O. Okay. Similarly, let us compute it for C as well. So we can simply say L, C, and it has parent classes D and E. Okay. And we can simply write it as the expression says. C plus merge L D L E and D E. Okay, which can also be written as C plus merge. So L D is nothing but D O and L E is nothing but E O and we have de okay now we will simply start uh, merging them okay so we can simply say we will get c and let us choose uh, d here so d is not in any of the uh, tails so it is a good head 
So we'll simply say D plus merge and we simply remove all the occurrences of D. Okay, so we will get O, E, O and E. Next we choose uh, another head that will be O but it is a tail of E, O. So we will ignore that. It is not a good head and then again we choose E. It is not tail of any uh, uh, list. So that is a good head. So we can simply say C plus D plus E plus merge. What we will uh, so remove all the currencies of E. So we will be left with O O. And the next we will simply choose uh, C plus D plus E plus. O, which is nothing but C D E O. Okay. Now the last one is nothing but we have uh, left with A. So let us compute uh, L A, which has parent classes B and C, which can be written as A plus merge. L B L C and B C and the same thing can be written as A plus merge. So let us use the expression that we already calculated. So B is nothing but B D F O and then we have a uh, C is nothing but C D E O and then we have B C. Okay. Now let us start uh, merging them. So that will represent A plus. So we choose B as a first head and it is not a tail of anyone. So it will be a good head. We will simply say B and then again we will write merge and remove all the occurrences of B. So we will be left for D F O and C D E O and C. Next let us choose uh, another head. So another head would be D but D is a uh, D is in tail of the second list. So that is not a good head. So we will choose C here and that will be our good head because it's not uh, in any of the tails. Okay so we will come up with A plus B plus C plus merge and we can simply remove all the currencies of C so we will be left with D F O and D E O okay now let us choose another head so we have D D is not in tail of any uh, list so we have good head so we can simply say plus D I remove all the currencies of D. So that's we have. Now let us choose another head F. It is not in any list. So we will have plus F and remove all the currencies of F. And the next we choose E. Remove E from here. And so. Next we have only O and we can choose it and then we have it. Okay. So the order is A, B, C, D, F, E, O. Okay. And we can verify it simply uh, um, printing the magic function of A. Okay. So let us do that. Print a dot MRO. So this will print uh, method resolution order of A and it should be the same as we described here or what we uh, uh, um, computed. Okay, let us see if we are correct. You can see A, B, C, D, F, E, O. Okay, so you can see a B C D F E O. So it's correct. Okay.
so i think that should be clear and i will share some links where you can read it more thoroughly so i think uh, we will stop in this video here and uh, thanks for watching bye for now take care see you in the next